Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and today I'm going to talk about how to use head pins. Normally you take a head pin, you put a bead on and you make a loop and then you attach the bead to a necklace or an earring or a bracelet. But today I'm going to show you 10 different hacks that you can do with head pins. Yes? So let's start. Hack number one, head pins. Yeah, you heard me, head pins. There's going to be one day you're gonna need a head pin with a bigger head. Sometimes you need a head pin with a larger head on. If you have uh, maybe a tubular bead with a larger hole, you need a bigger head on the head pin. So this is one that I come up with. You take the head pin, a long one and you bend it in a 90 degree angle then you make the tiniest little loop and you start turning it around like this so there you get a bigger platform to put your bead on hack number two pendant yes you can make pendants from head pins this is a small pendant that i made from a head pin i just cut the hand end off and then I just make a little loop in the middle and then I turn it around in circles and I made a little loop at the top. So there you have a little pendant and I used it to make a little earring like this. You can put it on necklaces and whatever you like. It's a smart idea. Hack number three bead caps or cones yes you can make them from a head pin sometimes you don't have the right size in bead cap cones then you can just make one with a head pin of course this is what i did you just make a tiny little hole and you start spinning it around until you get the correct size for your bead and you can also make bigger ones if you make tassels and stuff like that then you get the exact right size that you want. Hack number four, earring bases. Of course, you can use a head pin. This is a ring base that I made from a head pin. You can make all sorts of shapes. You can make hearts, you can make diamond shapes, square shapes, circles. And I also did this little twisty one. You can make everything you can come up with really hack number five ring bases uh-huh you can use a head pin you can also use head pins to make ring bases this is what i did just make a small circle twist it around a little bit until you get the right size for your ring base and just shape it so it fits hack number six hoop earrings of course use a head pin you can also make hoop earrings in any size you like if you use a head pin hack number seven oh no i don't have any earring hooks <laughs> use a head pin if you run out of ear hooks you can also make them from head pins but make sure that you file off the end so that you won't cut your ear on them hack number eight spacer beads of course you can make them from head pins you can also make small spacer beads or longer in any size that you like that so it will fit your necklace or bracelet hack number nine bead cages of course again use a head pin you can also use head pins to make bead cages you can make it the correct size you like or you can twist them in different patterns around your beads. Hack number 10. Closure for leather necklace. <laughs> of course, use a head pin. You can also make end caps for leather necklaces or bracelets. You just make a loop at the end and you turn the head pin around in circles. And you just put a bit of glue and put the leather in there and squeeze the end end tight to the leather and then you can put a clasp on so 
that was my 10 head pin hacks for you. I hope you have any tips or tricks that you can share with me. So comment down below and I will read everything. I will learn everything, <laughs> obviously. If you wonder how you make these earrings, I will put a link to that video in the description down below. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and the next time I will make a video on basic things and tools that you need when you first start out to make jewelry and maybe a few tips as well. See you next time. Bye!